Answering it like for like. Doncic drives in and does what Luka Doncic does. And the whistle blows as well. You know, he has to have that enormous respect uh, for Goran Dragic, but probably loves playing against him. Dra and there is Luka Doncic for three. Zupcic. And driving in and high off the glass is Dragic. Over to Blazic, gets it back. Dragic. And hits the open jumper. It's like that. It is a very difficult team to beat. Hezonja for three. Oh boy. Prakashin has the ball stolen. Up ahead. Dragic, another lob! And Toby! Unforgivable. You cannot turn the ball over when you're down like this in that fashion. And we were just talking about how Toby is just there or constantly singing or chanting that. Another lob, and this time for Croatia. Hezonja for three. Good! Goodness gracious! Hezonja's caught fire! For the Croatians. Now Doncic. Oh, he goes up for the flush. So starting this second half, Broko Prakashin, son of Nikola Prakashin, the former Croatia big man. And a alley -oop starts off. Toby. And you know that Slovenia want to come out up the floor. Croatia haven't been able to cut into that deficit like we thought they had to. And what a lob. You have to climb a mountain even when you have a good run. Sometimes you look up and you still have to climb a mountain. Here's a pass. And the reverse layup, Slovenia. Blazic. And there's the offensive rebound from Hrovat. Nope. Quick pass up. And they get it again. And it leads to a Bogdanovic dunk. The drive and the basket is good. Or will their coach, no, Alexei, or rather, uh, Sekulic says, we don't need, we don't need to do it for the shot clock. We don't need to get the hundred. We don't need to make this any more emphatic than it already is.